They was here watching Netflix, watching the Tyson, Jake Paul fight with the rest of us doing the same. She was shit. rigged. They was doing the same shit. And so I'm just tired of people making empty threats. See, I know somebody is really about it when they're not talking about it and they just do it. Because if mm. you're really moving, you moving. You ain't got to talk about it. You ain't going to make no announcement on social media. It. And you ain't going to do none of that shit. You just going to gonna bust a move. But anytime I see somebody saying, I talked to my mama yesterday and we I, we live together and we think about moving and you got to bond it on. Come on, yeah. listen. I know that y'all don't want to make the assumption, but the reality is that a lot of people, you are, most of the time you can you can tell whether or not a person is really, even people that front, you can tell if they front or not. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that she had a bonnet on and how she was moving and she had black lips, yeah. it matters. Yeah. That's a communi- Those that's eyelashes communi- were cheap too, just saying. So oh my God. That's, a, that's, a, that's a communication, how she looked and how she carried herself. And I mm-hmm. bet you she got dressed up to put that phone in front of her face and say that shit. Right. That, that's a reflection of who you're dealing with. I wasn't going to go that far on the black queen. I just said the bonnet. Oh. But you going to try and prove, prove a point, let's you know, we don't need the bonnets. That's all I'm saying. It, 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 next time it, I go to the United States. Girl, listen, I'm... that girl couldn't even speak proper English. <laughs> we about should be more. presentable, though. Like, we can't, say, we can't say what you got on, how you articulate stuff doesn't matter. Like, no, I'm not about to listen to her. Let, let me introduce this other subject real quick. I just want to get y'all thoughts on this, Q. And we did kind of add this in there before we, you know, kind of wind down. Afrotech was in Houston, right? I don't know if y'all know what Afrotech is. I'm sure that Ty knows because he, you know, he kind of perked up a little bit. <laughs> I've been trying to go for the last three years. So Afrotech is in Houston, but the big thing on social media, or was in Houston, the big thing that was that was so, social um, that was circulating across social media was that women were trying to get to Afrotech in order to be able to find a man. Do y'all think that that's logical? Men yes. and women, so it's not just women. Yeah, There's a thing at the bottom, Q, real quick. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Men and women. What, what's what's Afrotech? So Afrotech is basically it's a technology event or it's a technology conference. Um, you know, and they they have a good time. They have conferences, businesses, is, you know, speakers. presentations, all that type of stuff. Guest speakers, startups, yeah. all that type of stuff. It's, it's a, a technology network. conference for yeah. basically black people. For the most yeah. part, okay. networking, intellectual freak, Nick. That's all it is. I feel like if you're going to be strategic, I think you should also go to the conference, not just be in the vicinity of it. So go to the conference. But if you're looking for someone in a certain um, tax bracket or you're looking to date somebody in a certain field, you have to, you can't just pull up to the after parties and think that you're going to. I mean, you could meet them, but also go to the conference, have an intellectual conversation, network with them. And then if something sparks from that, because as we said a couple of weeks ago, I think that you have to be strategic when you're looking to like you have to date with intention to marry and, you know, do all of that. So I think that it is important. But people just go in there just to, like Victor say, have a freak nig basically at a tech conference. I don't think that that's what they should have been doing. But but there's there's every place where you put a bunch of people, people are going to fuck. If you put an anime convention with the most nerdy people in the planet, they're going to fuck. The, the, I, 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 I read I read if this woman go to this convention than to go to the All Star Weekend with ten dollars in the pocket and then have to have that's, a ride. I, I don't think that I read true. that. I don't, I don't believe that every conference is a fuck fest. I don't believe that. Yeah. No. I, 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 I think. It's not a fuck fest, but they, one girl was talking about how they had panels regarding dating. And a lot of conferences, they already have that. They have something regarding dating or meeting the person or anything of that nature. At the actual conference? At the conference, yeah. But I mean, yeah. it's like, okay. if you're in tech, right? Usually techies are busy, work, and men usually are making money and they don't want women leeching off of them. Why not date someone, a woman in that industry that's making money like you? For men, I think that would well, be a good Well, the problem thing. is that most of the women that was there, a lot, not let me not say most, because I, I don't know. A lot of the women that was there, A, was not there for the conference. B, was not yeah. in tech. And C, is not even interested in tech. They just there in order to try to find a guy that work in that, situ- yeah. in that yeah. industry. So <laughs> and I don't agree with that. I feel like that's why I say I feel like if you are going to go there, still go to the conference, still engage in the workshops and whatever they have going on. 
build your network. And if something sparks from that, then yes. Now, I didn't know they had an actual like dating panel at the so, tech thing. I felt like that should have probably been. So, but Jerry, this is what they do. The Web Summit is every year in my country. Like it's probably half a mile away from where I live, right? White women go there to find husbands. The Web Summit is one of the most important events. It, like the ticket is $1,000 just for you to attend. People that go there, they have money or they have powerful companies backing them. So what what do you say? What is this you're referring to? It's the Web Summit. The Web Summit? Web Summit. Yeah. Gotcha. Is okay. it like when the like the biggest CEOs and execs yeah, they come yeah, to Portugal gotcha. to have a summit? Like, you know what white women do? They go get a $1,000 loan go inside of that shit with like looking at what's going on and they try to actually get the husband. They've been they, doing this shit for five. I don't know. I don't know my business. Like but, <laughs> no, but what yeah, he's scouting, but there's the point. We can tell this woman to actually go ahead and meet these guys. And you know, tech people usually are actually getting a, a, a good amount of money and then criticize them because they're going there to just go around and look if they find somebody that is attractive that actually can take care of them. I don't see no once again, I read these than the Super Bowl parties. <laughs> I read it's it's giving the same oh, energy as trying to find a man at church. Like you, that's not what the intention is for. Like if you find somebody that's that's cool, you just happen to link with somebody, have some chemistry and whatnot. But going there with that intention, you're going already going with malintention because that's not what the event is for. Because if you're not, if the whole point of this, if the whole entire gathering of the conference is to discuss technology and to improve that or to expand upon that, and your intention is to go in with dating, you're already going in with the opposite. You're not even going in with the correct intention. Like I said, if you happen to meet someone with the same huh. values, interests, that's cool. But again, it's giving me the same energy. Oh, well, let me go find my man at church. Like, and, and that's not what you go to church is. for. You go to church to hear the word of God. If you happen to meet somebody there, that's cool. But who, who, again, it's always about intention. Who, who said I don't it? think you should. I, I, I think like I'm kind of asking, he, the question he asked was was is it okay for uh, for them to be using it as dating? I'm answering the panel's question. I'm answering yeah, what's yeah. at the bottom of the screen. That's I'm what conflicted. I'm, answering. I'm conflicted. No, I just asked why. I why just think you to go to the church to get the husband or a, or a, well, hold on. because me, that's me, not what it's for. That's not what it's me, for. The me, point of going me, to church is to hear a word of God. It's not to go and start dating and meet your future well, husband. On, that's not what it's for. Let, let me uh let me I want to get Trey in here. Trey, what do you think about this? are you are you in a STEM field, Trey? Excuse me? Are you in a STEM field? A STEM no, I'm not. Okay. What do you think about this whole the whole subject about um conflicted um i like think that we know that like-minded people attract especially like in the certain careers like we know that doctors tend to marry doctors lawyers tend to marry lawyers educators and educators like we know that so but i guess i guess why i say i'm sort of conflicted is that's true though i don't i don't know i'm getting yeah I don't know. It, yeah it's for, yeah, proximity yeah. Yeah, okay, that's yeah cool. people marry who they're around. College educated people tend to marry college educated people. Um, gotcha. So, but I guess the part where I'm sort of conflicted on is, is like, what would like a red pillar suggest to a woman? What do you mean? In, the, in this instance? In, in, in this instance, because because like red pill ideology would probably say, hey, if you're a woman, you need to go find you a man that can provide for you and take care of you and blah, 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 blah. So now- I think there's a misunderstanding of what red pill is though. Oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. But I think, so, but, but ultimately like that's sort of the thing is, hey, be a submissive wife to, to a man that can take care of you and lead your household and financially provide for you. So a woman, if she's listening to that, well, I should go- where can I go find the most eligible men that can provide for me? Yeah, I'm I, conflicted also. Um, would you rather I just, go meet in the club? I was going right. to say, I, well, I just no, I'm, to at a conference. If you're well, going to meet I'm conflicted somebody. because I just think that the nature of women is always to go where they can find the best, best available men. Yes. So tech conference. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even if a woman's intention, let's just say, for example, to go to the conference because she genuinely is going to the conference, I think that consciously or subconsciously, she's still looking to get chose at some point, even yeah. if she's there for the right reasons. Or do the choosing. Right. But isn't that everywhere, though? Even if she doesn't go to a conference, she goes Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. That's why I say the nature yeah, of it is the same, which I think that the, the real conversation is, are men prepared to get finessed by certain women that's there nope. that's not necessarily there for the right reasons? Because nope. 
I think a lot of these guys, um, I don't think that they're ready for the type of women that is now yeah. hunting them. The simps out there, they want that for sure. They want to be used. Yeah, so, they do. <laughs> they literally, they're called money pigs. Like, that's literally a thing on OF, that, that literally men have a fetish of women taking their money and using them for all they got. Like, if there are men that are like that. If if you're not of use, you are useless. There's no problem in a man wants to take care of a woman. The, 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 the thing is, is this woman doing that on a constructive way or is she doing that on a predatory way? A woman being taken care of and a woman using a man for their money are two different things. Congratulations. That's what woman been doing since the beginning of time. No, no, no. Using men for their money? Using men for their money or being taken care of? Jesus, no, she's right. She is right. No, she's not. That's what woman been doing since the beginning of time, using men. Yes, congratulations. No, no, no. We all use each other, but it's a difference between being used because relationships are transactional even exchanging strengths and weaknesses is a transaction the problem is being misused and yes. so that, that's what the problem is and i think that she's right she differentiated it because she said <clears throat> it's a difference between a woman that's looking to get get take care of it and looking at, and a woman that's looking to take advantage of you that's because nice. that means a woman that takes advantage of you adds no value whatsoever no no, no depends how I, I, it, it actually depends you can Take advantage of something and still bring value. Like I told you, the difference is the predatory behavior. But respectfully, men use money and power to get sex. Women use sex to get money and power. It's the oldest game in the book. Women been doing this since the beginning of time. So what is different about this? It's because, the same thing. Because, because character is still as important. I could recognize for this woman, could, absolutely not. I could I could recognize that I have a need, right? Uh -huh. Your need could be as simple as. You don't want to die alone and you actually want to have somebody in a companion. You may feel as though a man, well, being a man, I have to be able to be in a position to take care of her. And so, but I also want sex from her too. You're looking to take advantage of the fact that she's giving you her body, but you're not looking to abuse the situation to where you just fuck her and leave her. Now, there are a demographic of people, obviously, that do that. But then there's also another demographic of people that's not looking to leave a person broken if and when they decide that they want to go their separate ways is people that depart and go their separate ways and they don't have any bitterness towards each other right so my point is is that i think that it's a it's a it's a difference between being misused and using while also adding value anton yeah. would you think that this is ultimately if women are going to afrotech or going to a convention to look for i would assume that these women are good looking women that are doing such and they are trying to sort of I'm use I'm I'm just, some, some, that they're probably trying to use their looks sort of in like a power dynamic to use uh, their looks to benefit them. Is yeah. that any different from what men do to use their money in a strip club or on OnlyFans to, or sort of, again, red pill ideology, get an 18 year old girl or be a passport bro? It's a huge, I think it's a I think it's a huge difference because okay. I, I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. I don't think that guys it's so it's listen you should you should be productive and you should do as best as you possibly can to make as much as you can but if she only which if she's only with you for the money then that's a problem if the only way that you can get the girl because i'm not even telling guys that they have to have every single girl but you need to be able to find the one that's for you if the only way you was able to get the one that you think is for you is because you put money in front of her face then that's not the one that's supposed to be for you because there's that money dry up she out yeah, because life is up and down. And so you may right. have some good times. You might have some bad times. You know, things may go well. You may get sick. You may be healthy for your whole life. Who knows? But you want somebody that's there for the right reasons. And then you then want to spend more time and more resources. You actually go harder to make sure that they're taken care of. On the flip side, a woman leveraging their looks, I don't see that as any problem whatsoever. I think that a woman should spend the majority of the day time trying to make sure that they put the best effort possible to look good because yeah, that's I, just the men tend to be more attracted to i think the issue is the setting in which it's happening not the fact that it's happening so like crystal said with church like the intention the intention behind the conference is to find like-minded people in the same industry so black people people of the diaspora to be there and talk about tech that's the intention behind the conference so i think that the intention should be there and if you 
create an organic networking relationship and then it moves further, then that's something different, just like with the church situation, just like at work, just like, you know, in situations like that. Now, if you're um, taking yourself to a cigar lounge, if you're going to a bar, if you're going to a certain high level club, if you're in these different areas, then obviously there's really no intention, but like there's intention behind it, but the setting is obviously to be more social and to interact in that level. Afrotech should be I didn't know that, like I said, I didn't know they had an actual dating panel at Afrotech. I feel like it should be centered around the tech part, not the Afro part. Well, I think that the conference is there to make as much money as possible, to be honest with you. And then That's hopefully true. add some value too. And so maybe they rebranded. I don't know. I don't know. So plus that's where they get the women on um, the money from women. Women bring in money. If there's gonna be more women, you're gonna have more men coming in. That's how they promote clubs. That's why there's always a free ladies' night, because the more women are gonna come in, the more men, the more money is gonna be spent. That's a that, fact. That sounds predatory to me, and nobody's against it. Does you don't see no woman say we should need to stop this? This is against men. We are well, using men. That that's my and that's my point. Women <laughs> men use women too. No, no, but I'm saying it's an open market. Nobody. I just think it's it. interesting because the first thing the men will always say is that they want to go for a woman's looks, but then if she uses her looks to get the man, then it's predatory. No, that's not what I said. What I said was if you are using a ladies' night to get on the pocket of a man, that sounds predatory, but I don't see no woman complaining about it. When they get to the nightclub, they are happy. Whoa, they're happy. Right, 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 right. So, so what I'm, are I'm we just, doing? I'm trying to understand. You're saying that if a woman is looking to get a guy based mm -hmm. off of her looks that's predatory anyone said that no i'm asking yeah. i didn't say that you did i'm asking yes uh, you did say that fatty you said it was predatory <laughs> why are you saying what? fatty like that that was very aggressive okay. that's the name <laughs> <laughs> no, because like, when i think of because when i think of predatory, <laughs> Because when I think of predatory, I'm thinking of taking advantage of somebody that don't have the ability to defend themselves or something like that. I, when I think of exactly. a predator, I think of like a child molester or something, right? So no. I'm predator trying to think just how y'all define it. I think it just means taking advantage of somebody that is not well as well prepared the person that is actually putting the trap. Like the system, the nightclub system is clearly predatory. He's making money at the expense of men by using women. And it's fair. People actually well, said that. I don't think it's predatory. Let me just finish. Let me just, let me just, let me just finish. Let me just, let me just finish. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. <laughs> what I said is, I'm okay with it, and most women are okay with it. Don't go to thousand nightclubs during your life from 19 to 30, and then all of a sudden says, "We should not do this. This is not the right place to do this." Women take advantage of the system all the time, and that's fair. It's well, fine. how about this? If they're gonna you be like about it. If they're going to be strategic about it and they're intentionally going to the conference to find a man, they need mm -hmm. to be at the conference trying to find a man. If the, if you're going to talk about why are you making those rules? What I'm saying is is that there are women there that aren't even a part of the conference, did, don't work in tech, aren't trying to be in tech or anything mm -hmm. like that, and they're going there just and to find that's a irrelevant. man. So, but so I don't understand the predatory the club thing. I so, don't understand so, it. So, How so, is Jerry, that irrelevant? So, so, so let's do this, right? If Anton does a meeting and Anton is well connected and has a spectacular network and you go there because you want to meet Anton and everybody and you fall in love with the guy on that meeting because for whatever reason you like him, what happens wrong all with the time? That yeah, why that's not what is, what we all agree what, we what, all agree that if the connection was organic and genuine that why would be fine it have to be organic? we're talking about the intention of going to a conference when the Lady. point of if you're going to sir with respect with respect sir um if you go to a dating to conference if you if you go to a dating conference sir i was speaking mm. thank you um if you go to a dating conference, it would make sense to go with the intention of dating. If I go to a conference for just tech, I should be going as a professional to talk so, about tech. That okay, is the so, point. If you happen to meet someone, because obviously you're gonna have the same common interest, that is okay. We're saying so, that when you go with the certain intention, mm -hmm. I'm gonna find me a rich man, is giving gold digger vibes. It's giving, so, I'm trying to be super hypergamous. It's, it's so, giving, that's giving more predatory than this, let me just go. And oh my God, I found somebody and they were cool. This, and that's this, different. Is last, this is my last statement, right? If there's a no, Trump convention, like if, if there's a Trump convention and I see 
raw with Chris goes to the Trump convention and I want to be raw with Chris, there's no problem with it. Are you better, who would who? If Crystal. There's, 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 a name, there's a name, raw with Chris, right? Oh, you saying her. If I see her posting, if I see her posting, I'm going to run a Trump convention and I want to be raw with Chris, I will go there. I will actually meet her. If you go to a Trump convention, you're going there to support Trump. You're not going there for me. If you happen to meet me and you want to kick it, that's one thing. But if you go to a Trump conference, you're going to support Trump. If a woman is actually smart about it and she wants to find a man in that field, then she should she should want to engage, go to the conference. <laughs> she should want to engage in the conference. Like she should want to be a part. Like, okay, I want to find a man in tech. Let me be a woman in tech because I know by proximity, okay, cool. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get the knowledge that I need to get to further my career. While also, if it happens and if it's organic, then okay, cool. I and, need and somebody this, there. And this is why y'all don't get the guys that you want. While you're I'm married, really, sweetie. I'm married. Thank you very while, much. I'm married. You, yeah, you don't you don't like him like that. I'm married. Why I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. Just because you're single, just because you're single, just because you're single again, sir. You're very feminine the way you keep arguing with everybody. But anyways, you are here with you don't like because like you are you. single, we're okay. not gonna do that. I talk about my husband every single panel. Oh if you're too God, ignorant to know joke. that, that's on you. Because I'm a very joke. my man, my man, my man, my husband. You, you, Thank you. It was a joke. Anyways, I'm just saying, I'm, okay. This is don't talk album. about families. We you don't do that. We don't talk about families. Sorry, Keep it cute. Guys. Keep it cute, sis. Crystal. Keep it cute. <laughs> are, 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 are you a stay-at-home wife or do you work? I work uh, currently. I do work currently. What what field are you in? Are you no, 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 we don't, we don't want to get we don't get to get purple. No, I was just on left. I'm being nice. Um, well, I feel you. I feel you. But I'm I actually can... I'm actually a black woman in tech, and um, my job provides free tickets. Well, we get them comp to go to Afro Tech, and for the last three years, I've been trying to go. But the way that it sounds, it sounds like I don't need to. No, be I, I hear a lot of people have a good time because they saying that about the um congressional caucus, and I want to go to that too. But I'm not trying to go to be mm-hmm. fucking Let's around. No, no, listen, listen, listen. I, think, I think that, that I makes heard sense. The, I heard the actual organizer, you know, the lady that owns the company that runs the Afrotech speak. And she said that their their goal is for people to have fun based around tech. And so that's one of the reasons why I guess they do the panels and then they also have, you know, the hiring events and the technology events and, you know, different people meeting with venture capitalists and stuff like that. So I kind of understood it a little bit more from her perspective. I think that the culture then takes it further than it needs to be. And I think that the intention behind some women could probably paint it negatively. And so I don't, to speak to your point, Jamisha, I don't think that you should limit, you know what I'm saying? What your experience is based off of what you see other people go. I think you should go and experience it for yourself and just see. Because the hookup part is the after party. Like, That's what people are not realizing. They're not fucking at Afrotech itself. They're going to the after parties. And since Houston is a party ass city, there's going to be after parties at multiple different locations, multiple things going on. So that's where they're really trying to scout like that. So go, 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 Jamisha, and see what it's for yourself. It's over now. I was going to, but I wanted to ask. I'm saying for the next one. Yeah, um, I'm. I'm gonna have to. Um, it, for the people in the comments, can I go with you? I could be a yes. I could be elected official. I run nonprofits, business, and I work. Okay, but um, for what Fatty was saying in regards to, or whoever said it on the conference, I'm not gonna front because when I was uh, like going to the elected official conferences, like we would go handle business, but I was excited to link up with my other people in the movement to yeah. be able to decompress and be around like-minded and having conversations about what they doing in a community. Yes. I handle business in the day and then we was wilding in, in, in the evening. So I do understand that concept, but my mission was to handle business and bring resources back to my community. Yeah, I'm a, nine, you know, five 30 I'm drinking. Cause yeah, I'm a little different. Once I go and take care of business, I'm out. Well, I'm there for you're there for you, like you know who I am. It's a week. Yeah, you she know. Don't go out. And, and uh-huh. Demisha, I, I'm glad that you are. I'm glad that you are in tech, but you shouldn't disqualify Crystal um, 
opinion just because she does organic. I soap. didn't disqualify. I asked because I wanted to. Know. What are you talking what about? You about? Maybe not a trans no, just soap, because right? she just because she does organic sir. soap for a living, you don't need to disqualify don't her. Sir, 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 you're not just me. Through the pandemic, sweetheart. I worked in the hospital during the pandemic, and I've held people's hands while they died. You're not gonna sit here and try to discredit me. Okay, okay, Wonder Woman. Okay, like I said, sweetie, you are so feminine. Like sashay away. Hey, seriously, like you're so feminine. Let it go, moving, bro. Moving on from him. Yeah. Um, I, I keep the hat on. Put the bonnet on, bro. Respectful. I just wanted to, um, you know, you, you had a choice to answer. I wasn't. I, I appreciate you. Your service. I need the bonnet. Yeah, I think that Jamisha made a great point. Like she handles her business, and then she's going to be there over a period of time. Okay, once five thirty here, or once the conferences, the workshops are done, then she hangs out. But like she said, her intention was to. Get the get the knowledge that she needs to get. Bring whatever you know she learned from there and bring it back to her community. That should be the intention behind it. Right. Keep it professional. Keep it professional, because that way I feel like it diminishes the quality of the conference if the whole point is not to keep it professional. Do whatever mm -hmm. you want after hours. That's cool. But during the time you're at the conference, keep it professional. And that way, like I said, expand your social networks, make connections if you need to, and then you could connect after. But you should be professional during the conference, is what I'm saying. Yeah. They but, usually say that white women go to college to find their future husband. I don't understand why you guys can be as intentional. You guys have to mask. Why you say why you guys? I'm not white, so Wait, no, you so, guys. But guess what? They're still doing though. While they're still there, they're still getting an education. So, like I was saying earlier, if they want to find a man in tech, if they want to find their husband, and they want to get okay, well, let I want a man in tech. Let me become a woman in tech, and then at least I'm still learning while I'm actively trying to find somebody. Yep, I agree with that. Because if you go to a conference like that and you have no idea about what's going on, you have nothing to relate to with the person you're going to meet anyway. So you're just going to wind up being a weekend bust down instead of meeting anybody I for a long time. I think that most people now that sound people. like some Anton would say, not a weekend bust down. <laughs> Honestly, to be honest with you, like I've been to a lot of conferences and stuff like that. I think that I don't think that most conferences, um, people are there for the right reasons. I think that a lot of people go to get away. I think a lot of people be cheating at conferences. I think that people do some of the wildest yep. shit. So I'm not a uh I've I'm not seen a big, it in I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of it. Hey, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it in general because I think that most of the time people be there with wrong intentions in general. 